Shakespeare to review Year Lie in April. I actually finished this anime a few days ago and just have not been able to get around to doing this. But without further ado, I'm going to do my usual character introduction. I promise not to dwell on this too much. The story goes around Kosei Arma, who is the main male protagonist. He doesn't wish to play the piano because his mother died two years prior to the start of the story. He cannot, he can no longer hear the notes of the piano, so it does, it um, hinders him. And he does not wish to ever play the piano again, but he is still being involved with piano at first, like writing music and stuff. And then he meets, I can't get her name 100% right, uh, Kari, Kori uh, Miyazono, the main female protagonist. She actually drags him back on the stage with her to play as a duet because she is a violinist and she wants him to be her accompanist. So that kind of starts him back on the piano and starts getting things in motion. Tsubaki, uh, Sabe, I don't know how to pronounce her last name. Uh, she's Arma's best female friend. They've known each other since they were little kids. And she, throughout the whole story, she kind of struggles between if she likes him or not, how she feels about him. Uh, Ryoto Watari, Watari, Watari. I can't not get his name right. Like, I cannot absolutely not get his name right. But um, he's Arma's best male friend. He is a ladies' man, but not... He's very, uh, like, he definitely has Kosei's, or, um, Arma's back. He is a, you know, a, uh, oh, what am I thinking here? He's, like, a trustworthy person. He always has his back, has pretty much everyone's back. He'll do anything for Arma. Um, yeah. Uh, Maggie Aiza, she is Takashi Aiza's little sister, Takashi Aiza is a pianist who competes against uh, Arma. She, they're kind of rivals at the beginning, and then they end up being friends at the end. She actually becomes friends with Arma too when she goes to get him to help her learn the piano more. And she first wants to sabotage him because she wants to help out Takashi. But she ends up becoming friends with him, and he actually ends up helping her out. So, it's a very interesting character development there. Saki Arma, that would be, uh, Kosei's, uh, mother. Okay, I know I've referred to uh, Kosei, like, a lot by the last name, but I just, of course I have it, because... Takashi does that all the time, and I'm get I just get so used to it. Anyway, though, uh, Saki was Kosei's mother who dug like forced him to do the piano over and over and over again, and just yeah, it was. There's a lot of backstory with her. Emmy. Uh, I cannot get her last name. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Igawa. She is also a pianist, one of Kosei's rivals. Um, yeah, I'm going to be referring to Kosei as Kosei now and not Arma. It's forced to have it before. And then there is Hiroko Seto, who is actually one of um, Saki's friends and also a pianist. She helps get Kosei back on track, teaches him, you know, that sort of thing. So anyway, sorry for the long introduction. I said I was going to make it short, but it went into the story a little bit. As far as animation goes, I think it's a 9 out of 10. I think the animation is was wonderful. I thought it had a lot, of t lot to it. Uh, you know, I mean, the like, when Kosei was trying to play the piano and he was, like, in an underwater scene, like, smashing the keys, I thought that was a really cool animation feature. Um, the cherry blossoms coming down on him on one scene. I won't spoil that, but it, it was just a beautiful sight. The animation on the last episode was amazing. 
Honestly, the whole anime had a great animation. Story, I gave the story a 10 out of 10, because I love the story. Um, to get into it a little bit, like I said, he, you know, uh, Kari, Kori actually helps Kosei get back on stage. She encourages him to keep playing, and she kind of brings him back to the play, like the playing field of piano. But she actually fall, she falls ill, and we learn that she's been sick the entire time. She, um, honestly, okay guys, this is going to be spoiler alert, so if you have not watched this anime, please don't watch it. It's spoiler alert, big time. The, she actually tells a lie, that this is actually why it's called Your Lie in April, about liking Watari, Watani, Watani? Is that how you pronounce the guy's name? Maybe it is. But, anyway, sorry. She tells a lie that she likes him. Finds out the end of the episode. She, okay, whatever the last episode, Kosei is actually fighting for, like, using his music to try to reach her, to tell her to live. Because she's in an operation trying to fight for her life. It's the only chance she has to survive. He knows she dies without even getting the confirmation from them. As he's playing, he has this visual of them playing together. And she... She disappears. He knows 100% that she's gone. And, like, he, after that, you see her, her parents hand him a note from her, a letter from her, and she's writing to him to tell him that, I lied about wa liking Watani, or Watari, whatever. I, I've seen, I saw you when I was five years old, when you played. I begged my parents for a violin. I wanted to be by your side, be your partner. So I was thrilled whenever I found out we went to the same high the middle school. But yes, yeah, all your friends. I couldn't know. I didn't know how to get into your group. I wanted to invade. I didn't want to invade. And then she tells a lie of like Wadi, and then she gets to get close to Kosei. And she, I mean, the whole thing, like she blows the water because. She she loves him. They love each other. They loved each other, I guess, should, I should say. But she tells him that she had no right to invade, especially since Tsubaki Light loves him, and she was just passing, passing through. She wasn't going to be able to stay there. She knew she was going to die. And, yeah, honestly, you guys, if I... I'm honestly surprised I'm not crying right now, because when I watched that episode, I bawled my eyes out. I, it was horrible. I, that scene just killed me inside. I, just the whole thing. She brought so much to his life, and then she left it. Like, that had to hurt him a lot. And I know it did, because the way he was, the way... The way they acted, and the way that... Sorry, I'm getting stuffy here. Um, but, anyway, sorry. Um, just the way that she brought everything back to his life. She gave him the piano back. She gave him a reason to be alive, not just be a robot. To actually, she gave him something back. Something he... Uh, the biggest part of him, she brought back to him. And then, she loses her life. She knew this, but she was fighting to get him back. She wanted to be able to play with him. That She actually went into surgery to play with him one more time, because that's what she wanted. Was That's what he asked her, to play with him one more time. And then she doesn't make it. She doesn't live through the surgery. And, yeah, that, it's, it's horrible. I just, honestly... The anime is wonderful. The story is wonderful. The ending... The ending kills me inside a lot, but it's still... It's amazing anime. Um, it had wonderful music. I do want to mention that because it was the piano and the violin and all the classical music and everything. All the music was really wonderful. You could get into it. It really thrived in you when you listened. It was a very inspirational um, thing. Overall, I want to give this anime a 9.8 out of 10. Because I do feel like some episodes maybe dragged a little bit. I mean, they, they they were all full of wonderful story. But some of them I was just like... Eh. Eh. I wasn't really feeling all, like every second of it. Which, I mean, that... 
that's okay. Not every you know, not every episode of every anime is going to be wonderful. But I thought that overall this deserves a nine point eight. It's my highest ranked um, slice of life slice of life anime. You guys have to watch this. If you haven't, if you just watch this and you don't, and you haven't, if you just watched my review and you haven't watched the anime, you just got some major spoilers. So, sorry about that. I did try to warn you, but anyway, though, guys, I'm gonna end this review here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, share my video. It helps me out as a small YouTuber, and I'll catch you later. Peace out, guys.